Hey people, um, Ellington here. I am going to be just doing a bit of mucking around tonight. I'm having a look at this new thing that I found on Reddit that uh, a bunch of people have been building over and are using in some of the world building um, uh, subs. It's a new website called Incarnate. Um, hey, Rage Spectre. Um, so yeah, it's a, yeah, web page for making maps. So I'm going to have a play around with it, see if I can make a map. Um, if it goes good, if it goes well, I might, uh, throw it over into Photoshop and muck around with a bit there. I'm one of the biggest things that I've sort of seen about um, one of the biggest problems I've seen about this website is people are saying the maps look too much the same, it's not really using your artistic abilities, whatever that means, which is a pretty stupid um, thing really so far as I'm concerned. Uh, if you're creating something visual then you are Anyway, that's not really the argument here. The argument is, does it make good maps? And we're going to try and find that out. No, that's okay, Rage Spectre. No problems. Although, funny thing is, I had you, Rage Spectre, conf like, uh, confused with someone called I3 Flames. Two different people. I thought... I got it mixed. People with strange names on the internet. It's strange. Anyway, uh, gonna make a gonna make a map. So this is I had like three seconds of playing around with it before I went live. Um, looks pretty good. Pretty clean interface. Um, the first thing we're on, the first thing we have is this shovel here. This is in beta as well, so I'm, I'm sure there's gonna be plenty of different improvements. So this bit here, we can start building a bit of a landmass. <laughs> a bit of a landmass here. It's pretty simple. Bit of lag, but I don't know how much of that is because I'm streaming as well. Um, we've got different shapes that we can put in. We've got blocks. But you're never going to go to look as good as the circles. It's too geometric. It might be good for cities, I guess. I'm going to go back to the circle, and I'm going to bring that size right down so I can create a little bit more well, messiness, really, on the, on the borders of my... I guess this is going to be some sort of... This is probably a small island. Just a small island. Um, maybe we can make some decisions about what, what exactly is going on with this island, I don't know. It's looking okay. So, one of the big things that I'm seeing here now is, is with the circular brush, so far, all the work of making, like, a jagged coastline is going to be a matter of making those brush sizes smaller and smaller, which is going to be really time consuming. So it's just, it's, it's not working there. That's okay though. I mean, it's something. It's still good. It's still nice and easy so far. So we're getting a bit of a landmass. I've got to get rid of that stuff there. So it looks, I'm going to put the brush off a bit more. Just trying to randomize this coastline a little bit. I can't think, I don't think there's any other tools to sort of do anything with that either. So Chad, if you know of anything, if you know how I could be doing this differently, then um, let me know. Yeah, so block doesn't really work. Put some more circle stuff in there. So what I'm after is more of a jagged looking coastline. No, it doesn't have to be a Scandinavian fjord, but 
And it also shouldn't be perfectly circular. It should be a good mix of both. Is this going to do for now? I think this is going to do for now. Alright, so I notice up here as well we've got add, so we've also got subtract. So I'm guessing this is really simply going to subtract. This is looking a little bit like a skull from profile. So I'm going to add in uh, an internal body of water here. For an eye. Ooh, Skull Island. Pirates probably live on Skull Island, I'll be honest. It seems piratical. Alright. Oh, definitely Skull Island. I love it. Okay. So we've got that. Let's have a look. Next thing down we've got is paintbrush. Paintbrush is going to let us change our terrain type. So if we click up here, we've got a bunch of different terrain types. At the moment, we're on land, which is cool. We can change it to a bunch of different things. Forests are pretty neat. So I noticed this is pretty cool. So it it masks off the area of your land. Now this is really cool because if you're doing this in say um, Photoshop. If you're not very good with Photoshop, there's a lot of fiddling around to get those masks and all that sort of stuff going on. Um, so having it do it automatically for you is quite nice. Here, let's put some swamp land in. I also noticed that see how it diffuses if I click it down? No, it's not doing it there. Right, so it's going to diffuse and spread out um, our terrain types, which means we're going to get nice blends happening. Which is also fairly nice. So we've got, like, you can see we've got lots of other things. We've got ice. I'm not going to put any ice in there because Pirate Island is a lovely temperate place where you don't have to worry about ice and not being warm. In Australia at the moment, we have what they're calling an Arctic vortex, which is basically it's fucking cold. Like, not, you know, England cold, or like, Canada cold, but it's still pretty cold. Alright, anyway, so we've got some grassland. I think I need some more trees. Let's put some, let's put more forest in. I want more forest. Yeah, that's it. And more swamp. Oh, that's going to be great. Swampy regions there. Uh, swampy peninsula. It did snow in Stanthorpe, Rave Spectre. I was going to head out there. I didn't. Should have. It's not often the snow is so close. Um, Alright, so we've got that. So again, we've got our block option here, which I don't particularly like. We've got softness as well. I didn't notice that. What does softness give us? Okay, so it gives us a hard edge brush or a soft edge brush. That's handy. That's good. Okay. Again, we can change the size of our brush. I like how it's showing it in the middle as well, so you can change the size of it. it tells you exactly how big it's going to be in comparison to the rest of your uh, rest of your stuff. Okay, objects, place. Select. It's not giving me much of a tooltip here. Place. Okay, so what if. So place is. In, is okay, you know what? Let's put a place down here. Um, let's put on. It can't be a pirate island without a compass rose. So put a compass rose on there. Looks good. Also needs a sea serpent. Because here there be monsters. Right. How about we put in a hmm, I think we're gonna have a town. See the here's one thing is this map is gonna be the same size. That's one of the problems that it's gonna have is if I put that town there, that's gonna dictate 
pretty much the size that this map is going to be. Um, I haven't been able to find out a zoom or anything like that, so that's that's a little bit limiting. Still good though, it's still going well. So we can add notes to this, push the front, um, push the front, push the back, add notes, that's pretty good. The the swamp uh, put a ship floating in the swampy peninsula. Oh yeah, it's totally gonna have something in there. Definitely will. Uh, we're gonna add a note to this place. Note title. Let's call. Let's make this note title. Um. Oh, okay. That's the name of the town. Awesome. Falmyr. A little bit Viking. So, what does that note give us? Is that just so if we click on that? So it doesn't give us any any extra information about Falmyr. So we can rotate it. We can't increase the size. Uh, we can move it. Hmm. Mm okay. All right. Let's add a couple more objects in here. Was there was there actually a boat? There is a boat. Boat is going to go here. Again, though, we can't change the size of the object so far as I can tell. Hey, is all in our house things? Um, so you can't resize it. That's going to be way too big a boat. I'll just put it next to there like that. That's going to look fine. Um, so Zola and I have discovered can't resize things. It's a terrible, terrible state of affairs. You know what this place needs though? It's going to need... I see we've got some smaller things. Oh, okay. So we could just go, instead of having the like little pictures of the cities and towns, we could have representative icons for the town. So let's okay, so select or let's just select it. So let's delete this town. So you can't actually just delete it. You've got a it's left like a little artifact there. It's a bit of a pain. Hover over the white box you reckon. This box here? No. no size changing that I can see. Unless Alt is going to give us a. No, no, no. Not. We're out of luck. I think we're out of luck. But let's just place in another. We're going to put in a town. We try and cover up that little, that little dot there, hey? Again, can't change any sizes. That's really annoying, that little. Little dot. Four pointed arrow thing. Yeah, no, that's just moving it around. Rage Spectre. Moving, moving, moving. Yeah. It's not it's not working for us. Zolana, are you there? If you're there, let me know because I'm about to put in um another place. I'm gonna put in a city. And um Zola uh Zonala, I want you to I want you to name it. We're gonna have a city here, right on the bay. And you can name the city. But what do we just call it? Zonala. We'll call it Zonala. Yeah, yeah. Zonala, I'm gonna name a city after you. Zonala. Yeah, it, it kind of sucks how like the name doesn't show up oh no we've got a text thing here okay so we can use that all right sweet so we can put in a whoa and oh, that's okay zonala all right cool and then if we were to select our whoops 
If we were to select our little thingy then that we had, then we could change that name. Theme of the island, well it's kind of a skull, so I'm thinking maybe it's like a piratey sort of thing. Maybe it's a, there's a hint of pirates, there could be a million other things. We're just messing around with it at the moment, trying to get a get a feel for the program. Um, Rage Spectre. I'm going to put something in over the other side of the map here. It's on the far, on the back of the skull. What what sort of thing can we put there? Look, I'll put on the objects again. We've got things like monster camps, villages, citadels, towers, caves. Caves, good. Let's put in the romance into necromancy. <laughs> Zonala Bay, alright. All right, so Rage Spectre. I'm, I think. I think. Ah, oh, see, that's a bit of a pain too. Let's. Let, I wonder if I'll have to select that, and then ah, uh, then you can click up the top there and change it. Okay, so there's some nice little options there. Zonala Bay. Awesome, and I've placed something up there. Like an idiot. That's okay. Alright, so you want a ruin rage specter. Let's put a ruin in there for you. Um, what's the ruins going to be called? No, I'm going to change these to the actual building types, I think. Um, ruin. Where? Oh, let's put it right in the back of the skull here. So there's a ruin. What's the ruin going to be called? I know. Oh, silly program. Rage Spectre Ruins. That's quite big. So I did notice that we've got these different options here. So let's just. I like how it's got a uh, dial, like a slider for the, for the size of the text. That's actually really nice. Rather than having to just go. What if I make it three point point or nine point? All right, so that's 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 cool. So we've placed a couple of towns. Let's just uh, I'm just gonna throw a couple of other things in here. Let's put a monster camp up in the north. Let's put a keep down here right next to this other little town. We could put a. Um, oh, that's a huge ass bridge. I like that. That's, oh man, there's going to be this huge city that spans that bay. Ruins of Spectral Rage. I can do that. I will change that. So we no longer have Rage Spectral Ruins. We have is it, the Ruins of Spectral Rage. That sounds like an adventure waiting to happen, i got to say. We are like, what's in them ruins? Alright. Uh, we need some more stuff in the middle, which is where this next tab comes in. So this next tab looks like... Uh, terrain features. Mountains, deciduous trees, and coniferous trees. Coniferous trees sounds like they're going to eat you. Let's put some mountains in. So this is cool, it's randomizing how big they are, it's randomizing the type, you know all about party wipes there, Rage Spectre, for I have been the author of some of those party wipes. not the kind of DM to, you know, go easy on my players. Yeah, I'm going to put some more mountains down here for Brow Ridge. I'd like to, okay, so if I turn that off, let's, how big is that? That's pretty big. So that's, turn, that's with the randomized size turned off. 
That's not bad. Let's put some coniferous trees in. So this is my uh do coniferous trees grow is a question. Do coniferous trees grow in wetlands and swamps? Hmm. If they don't, I don't really care. My wife's telling me they grow in forests, but she she doesn't know anything. She doesn't know what she's talking about. <laughs> so I'm putting in some other trees. What were these ones? Deciduous trees. Yeah, they're special swamp conifers. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Stop telling me my make believe is wrong. I'm I'm just kidding. I make fun of my wife, but she is pretty amazing. This is the woman who is telling me, you know what, you should really go and hang out at those game shops more. I'm like, yeah, but... Like an idiot. Alright, let's see. I'm just going to copy and paste your Zolinar Bay information here. It is the voice of authority. Alright, copy, add note, paste. Oops. Mm. Yes, <laughs> it's not even secretly wanting me out of the house more Rage Spectre. She's outright telling me. GTFO. Even after I made dinner the other night. It was a romantic TV lit dinner of um, <laughs> delicious cheese toasties with ham and cheese and tomato. and tomato. Get this. Motherfucking pepper and salt. Yep. Spices. That's what it was about. I got someone else looks like they've just joined the channel, but I might be wrong. I think I'm wrong. Oh, I was going to give them a chance. I want to do something with this monster camp in a second. I don't know what. Work something out. Hey guys, is there going to be roads on this map? Oh, look, okay, I've got a notes thing there. I can do shit with that. Is, yeah, is there going to be uh, roads and stuff, or is it going to be... I've got a, I, I feel like there would be. So, ah, that's what those little dots were. Got it. Alright, I'm going to get rid of these notes because I've already worked out how to do it otherwise. Go away, notes. Alright. Monster camp could be anything. Ruins a spectral rage. You know what? This is enough at the moment to go on with. So, text, features, got that sort of thing, text is pretty good, we've got notes, so what have we got here, map settings, title and description, got a bit of artifact over the side here, roads between Infalmia and Zolana Bay perhaps broken down, ruined tracks to the ruins, yeah that's a good idea, I wonder if these guys know about this. On the side here, it's a bit of artifact, whatever you call it. Not quite working. So there we go, save buttons. I did try and save a map earlier and it bugged out on me, so not sure what the deal with that is. Alright, so if I go back to brush and texture, there was an, there was one for roads there already. So I'm going to make that really tiny and I'm going to turn the softness down. Which means I need to time size up. So it's just going to make the roads a little bit harder. A little more packed in. <laughs> cool. 
cool. I mean, that's a pretty tidy little map. Hmm. So, I guess that is incarnate maps. That's so far as I can tell. That's that's what they do. They seem pretty good, nice and easy to get a map together that um, looks good. Um, if maybe a little bit limited so far in as to what you can actually produce, but I mean that's only going to improve, isn't it? It's only going to get better. Um, things that I would like to see would be the ability to roughen up the edges of your coastlines a little bit more. That would be nice. Um, the ability to maybe input a a scale of your map to start with. So then you could, I mean, really with this you could make, you know, um, with the textures and stuff, you, you could probably make some like dungeon tile style maps if you could select the scale well enough. Um, what else would I like to see in this? Um, maybe some oh, obviously different terrain types. The trees are good, the mountains are good. Um, I would like to see maybe tufts of grass to, to symbolize like... I know, I know there's a color for the swampy, like a bit of a texture for the swamps. Yeah, the paintbrush icon, Rage Spectre, is for your textures. So that's these ones here. So yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Like we've got lava, roads, borders, that's cool. Um, but I think more could be done there. Maybe even like, so you've got your border one here. Why not switch that out um, and give us a, a tint for different political areas or something like that. Blue area is Zolinar Bay. Red area is the ruins of Spectral Rage. Um, you know, political boundaries, stuff like that. Um, like, like I said, it did crash out on me before when I was doing some save stuff. Um, and needs a little bit of polish, but it's pretty good. Now, uh, the other thing I've found is if you just click this button here, it exports the map really, really quickly. Um, it exports it to a... I don't even see what type of document. So, okay, so it just exports it to a JPEG, which is pretty good, but that's going to limit you on... Um, how well you can manipulate it on Photoshop. If it exported to something like maybe a layered PNG file, that would, to me, that would be better. Even if it, layered, if it exported it to a PDF with layers, so different layers for your text, um, different layers for your, um, you know, your buildings and stuff like that. I mean, it would make it easy to um, touch up and finalize your map, like make it really your own. Um, but yeah, so that's, um, that's Incarnate. It's pretty good. I'm going to take a little bit of a break. I've only been streaming for half an hour. Whatevs. Um, I'm going to take a bit of a break. Um, I need to reheat my cup of tea, which is super important. Uh, and then when we come back, we're going to play a little bit of NetHack and see how deep we can get today. We So like Shrek? Yes, Rage Spectre. I would like it to export it more like Shrek, more layers. The layers are good. Layers help. I mean, if I had this on layers, I would have your background, like so for your water, your main mass of land. Then I would have the basic paintbrush sort of thing. Um, yeah, my thermos is a cup at the moment. That's what it is. Yeah, so everything, every one of these... So going down the side here, each one of these I would have on a separate layer. Um, plus, uh, it's not—I mean, it's nice having the the interactivity of this map here. And I guess in the long run, 
Um, you could easily use this if you were running a game over Raw 20. You could use this for your DM notes um, and be able to open up your note thing. So that's really cool. Um, yeah, I guess I like it. I would use it, um, but I would like to use it in conjunction with um, in conjunction with Photoshop and other image editing things to put those final touches on it that would turn this good map into an excellent map. And yeah, my first review. Boom! How do you like that? Incarnate. Some dude who has people watch him sometimes. Likes your stuff. Cool. Alright, I'm going on break. Um, I'll be back in about uh, about five minutes. Um, peace out. Be back soon. Bye.